These consumers, oftentimes what they need it for is to pay off debt or do home improvements. And so what we need to do is get them bought in into the result. So we ask certain things like, you know, how long you've been thinking about doing the new kitchen, right? But it goes deeper than that. So you say, okay, when you talk about a new kitchen, are you talking about full gut? Can you elaborate? Like, what are you going to do? Right? Like, oh yeah, we're going to fully gut the kitchen. We're going to do new flooring, new tiles, new cabinets. Right? I'm like, okay, well, why is that important to you? Why are you doing it now? Oh, my wife hates the cabinet. Our floor's cracking. So you got to dig deeper, right? Because that then becomes your mount up and your frame for the clothes. Understanding like home equity lines of credit, right? So your company might be doing some home equity lines of credit, but your job is then to flip it to a cash out refinance. Or you might come across people, you know, that you app and they're like, well, yeah, why would we refinance our 2.25 when I could just open up an equity line of credit? And the reason it comes twofold. Number one is if your company is marketing, right? And saying, hey, you qualify for a home equity line of credit. And then they call you and they're like, hey, you know, I got this mailer for a home equity line of credit. How do I get that? You have to be fully compliant right at the very beginning, right? Don't look at it as, oh, we don't do equity lines of credit or let's do a cash out. It's always compliant because the purpose or the objective in that first call is to first figure out how much they need, right? So if they call in and, you know, my company doesn't even do home equity lines of credit, but if they called in asking for one, I'm not going to say that, right? I'm like, okay, well, let me go ahead and help you do that. Can I ask you with regards to the cash, how much do you need, right? And so they say, I need about a hundred grand or I need 50 grand and say, okay, what would that cash be used for? And oftentimes they say, you know, home improvement or debt consolidation, or I want to invest in buy a rental property, whatever it is. You have to dig in then deeper and say, okay, so how long have you been planning to do that? So how long have you been planning to do the home improvement? How long have you been thinking about investing? And the reason why you're doing that is because you're trying to gauge their commitment. Because if they're shopping and there is just an idea, it's different than, you know, like, oh, we've been, you know, planning this for a while. And now we got some concrete numbers and we're ready to move because they want the equity line of credit so that they don't have to touch their first, but that's okay. Cause what's going to happen is we're going to find out their tie to the result of the cash. So they need the cash immediately. And then, so when we complete the application and they're under the impression that we're about to, you know, help them connect with a home equity line of credit, our whole pivot is, you know what? I was putting the numbers together, right? And I wanted to bring something up that is very important to you. With regards to the home equity line of credit, you understand that these rates are adjustable and they cap out at, you know, some at 18%, very high. But the most important thing that you need to understand is that it compounds interest daily. And so what that means is every single day, you're compounding interest on the balance. It's not like a mortgage. A mortgage compounds interest annually. Right? Your annual rate is how you pay interest. And that's why you take the interest rate and you divide it by 12. Well, imagine taking the interest on the balance and dividing it by how many days in the month there is. So you get to see how much interest it compounds. But more importantly, you now lean on the facts. And so media is already telling you that the feds are raising the rate. So the last thing you want to do is have an adjustable rate where it's compounding interest on such a high balance. Now, will it be different if they don't intend to use the money because I got an equity line, but I don't use it. I have it readily available so I could dip into it if I wanted to buy an investment property or something to that matter. So that way I don't have to dip into, you know, my own liquid cash flow or refinance my mortgage. I understand the game. So these consumers, oftentimes what they need it for is to pay off debt or do home improvements. And so what we need to do is get them bought in into the result. So we ask certain things like, you know, how long you've been thinking about doing the new kitchen, right? But it goes deeper than that. So you say, okay, when you talk about a new kitchen, are you talking about full gut? Can you elaborate? Like, what are you going to do? Right? Like, oh yeah, we're going to fully gut the kitchen. We're going to do new flooring, new tiles, new cabinets, right? I'm like, okay, well, why is that important to you? Why are you doing it now? Oh, my wife hates the cabinet. Our floor's cracking. So you got to dig deeper, right? Because that then becomes your mount up and your frame for the close. Because a lot of LOs out there, they just take it for face value. They pitch and they say, Hey, I can give you the 40 grand so you could get a new kitchen, but you have nothing else to elaborate on because you never dug in. You didn't find out that the wife hates the countertops. You didn't find out that they are embarrassed to have people over at their house because their kitchen is from 1972. 
you didn't elaborate and find out that they wanted to open kitchen concept because their kitchen is small. You didn't find out the meat of it. And so then that it helps you empower them for the result, but you're also then converting into a cash out refinance, right? And then when you do sell them, because they might very well have a 2.25, you say, you know what? I understand that you have 2.25 you want to protect. At the end of the day, one of the only things that a homeowner can really write off is the interest on their home. So the interest is actually your friend, right? It actually helps you protect the amount of taxable income you have, right? Your 2.25 right now is not enabling you to get the new kitchen. Your wife is still going to hate the cabinets. You're still going to be embarrassed when you're not turning your house into a perfect tent. On the flip side, you're not paying off debt. You're not protecting your FICO. That's what your 2.5 is doing right now. So don't pay attention to the rate. Pay attention to the results that you need. Do you believe having a newer kitchen will add value and equity to your home? Or do you believe that paying off these debts is going to put you in a better financial position to protect your family? So you have more money in the bank when you got three younger kids. Do you believe that this solution is going to help you navigate away from being check to check? Do you believe that if you don't use this product right now, you're going to continue to weigh on your FICO. You're going to continue to live in a financial burden. You're going to continue to be at risk. That's what's going to happen if you don't move now, right? Those are the facts. You can protect that 2.5, but I'm showing you the solution to dramatically change your life. Which one has more weight? Your 2.5 that keeps you where you're at right now, or this 5.5 with three points? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, right? But that's the truth. That's the market that we're in. And I think you guys need to understand that, right?